hello Aiden. Aiden. So to start off, the first question I have is how has Zoom changed your approach to comedy? Um, well, you know, ultimately in terms of writing the comedy, it hasn't really changed anything. Like it's still the same rules and formulas and stuff like that. But, you know, just there's like specific things that you can't do. Like you can't, you know, there's less physical stuff. Um, I had a bunch of jokes about my legs and their physicality. And like, now that's just out the window. So there's certain specific things that you can't do like that. But, you know, overall, it's it's not that much different. I normally like write dialogue based stuff anyways. So you can kind of do a lot of that in Zoom and it still works. Okay, okay. So it's it's sort of um, like I remember last year we did the radio show. It's, yeah. it's kind of a lot like that, just video style now. Basically, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just like, you know, whatever situation would naturally arise like in Zoom. So like it would, the sketch would be taking place like in an interview like this or like in a, in a business meeting or like, you know, actual things that people are doing on Zoom. It wouldn't be like, you know, two people going on a walk or something like that. Have you ever wanted to try something like out, yeah. out of the box from just like interview style? Um, yeah, there was one sketch I did on the YouTube channel where we were in a car and we just like put our virtual backgrounds up with a car background. Now I did mess up the car background because I wanted it to reverse the same image. So it looked like we were in one car, gotcha. but I messed it up and it didn't reverse and it was all backwards and I was looking the wrong way. <laughs> but other than that, it's a good sketch. So it's just how it, how it is these days. Yeah. All right, so the next question I got is, what are some new ways that you've learned to engage with your audience um, now that everything's online? Yeah. Um, I, I, remember, I remember like there, there, we had like at, at Purchase the like sort of the late night club where you could go and everybody would do their, their comedy sketches and everything. But like, mm -hmm. I guess, how has it changed for you? Yeah, well... You know, I guess the way that I've been trying to engage now is more just like through social media. And um, I mean, that's that's basically the main way because as at when we were on campus, um, you know, it's more just like word of mouth and people just kind of go to the shows um, and I would pretty much never promote it myself or anything. Mm -hmm. But now, yeah, it's all just you know, Instagram and Facebook. And uh, I have learned about the hashtags, which uh, I, just, I didn't even understand what those were. I thought that was just something stupid that people did just, just because, but uh, apparently there's an actual, uh, there's an actual like function of them. And I've been, <laughs> I've been utilizing that. Very exciting stuff. Who'd have, who'd have thought? And, and so do you think, do you think the hashtag like helps you get extra extra yeah and everything yeah like I, i'll normally um you know i thought i was overdoing the hashtags but then i saw other people's videos and i'm like wow they got like a novel of <laughs> crazy stuff but yeah I, I put a bunch on and you know i'll pretty much always do like hashtag sketch comedy that kind of stuff and i think that's brought me certain viewers because sometimes i'll get like comments from other sketch comedians so I'm assuming that's probably how they're coming, you know, to see those videos. Okay. Um, now, t tell, me, tell me a little about your YouTube channel and some of the newer projects that you've been trying to work on. Um, well, the channel, I, I believe it's just called Aiden Kushner. I, I, I didn't want to confuse anyone. Um, and it's, you know, it's just um, sketch comedy mostly. There's, there's a few other videos on there, but most of it is sketch. And um, basically just since, 
since um, the shutdown happened, you know, I haven't been able to do stuff live. So I've just been doing some stuff on the YouTube channel and just, you know, through Zoom or just filming myself. And um, yeah, that's it's just, you know, online sketch comedy, I guess. I saw um, that I started doing it because I saw I'm a big fan of the sketch show, Mr. Show, which was a 90s sketch show on HBO. Bob Odenkirk was in it from uh, from Breaking Bad. And it's, it's the best sketch show ever created. So I would definitely recommend it. But they did a Zoom reunion thing where they had some sketches there. And so I was like, all right, maybe, you know, it kind of made me realize like you can do a lot of sketch, just like dialogue based stuff on Zoom. So that's basically um, what I'm trying to do there. And, you know, it's just some are like satirical, some are just silly and uh, some are just bad. Uh, there's a lot of poor production quality, as I talked about with the car sketch there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's that's basically what it is. And in terms of new projects, um, well, right now I haven't been putting as much up on that channel because I've been uh, working on Purchase Late Night, the sketch show, which is now back. And we're just doing basically what I was doing and just doing it all on Zoom. Um, and I believe that will be put on YouTube at some point. Right now it's on IGTV, but uh, look out for it eventually. I don't know, I'm not in charge of it, but um, so I've been working on that. And I also have a podcast that I've been putting some like preview videos on the YouTube channel. We just uh, mostly talk about um, about social issues and like unwritten rules, like, you know, like we talk about phone calls and like when you can, when it's appropriate to make one versus a text and how long does it have to be and do you leave a voicemail and, you know, all the unwritten little rules there. Uh, we hope to inform people mostly, but more for myself, but, you know, so that's, that's what I've been working on. That's that's awesome, and I remember you're in um you're in some like comedy club type class this summer. Was mm -hmm. was there anything from that like that you took away from that? Um, now that like just now that everything's online, like to help you in comedy. Yeah, um, it was a stand up um online class, and I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it was more just like workshopping specific material, but it does, I mean, we were doing it over Zoom. So just, just from doing that, you get practice and you kind of like understand certain things like, um, like just from being in those meetings, like you understand if you're recording on Zoom, you can't like have a joke where two people are talking at the same time because one person will get like drowned out. Um, so like, sometimes I want to have people say like, yeah, let's do it. Or, you know, something like that in unison, but you can't do it because it'll get drowned out. So, I mean, you learn some technical stuff like that, but God. I, I took, this was before the pandemic, but I took a class at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater and, um, in sketch writing. And that definitely like completely like taught me how to write a sketch and like that's you know the formula of like how I write those so I would recommend it to anyone interested okay and um do you see do you notice any like really big differences from from when you were able to like get up in front of an audience and um like say all your lines and everything um compared to the skits that are online now like obviously there's definitely like an energy um difference and everything but do, do you notice it affecting your comedy in any way um yeah i mean you don't get the feedback so you know you don't like you could be doing something that's terrible and you don't really know because you're not bombing so um 
I mean, it's definitely like not as um, not as fun. Like I did a Zoom comedy show where they were recording it. And so they made everyone like turn off their camera and their their audio. So I was just do I was just doing stand up to nothing. <laughs> There was just, there was one guy with this camera on who was like, <laughs> and that's all I was, that's all I had to go off of. Just miming it straight up. <laughs> one time he like looked confused. So I had to like stop and <laughs> explain the joke. But... So, you know, yeah, it's, um, it's not, it's, it's like just talking to your wall or something. Yeah. I don't know yeah not as not as fun but and like there's also certain sketches that I just I'm not I have like ideas for but I'm just not gonna do it because not right now because it's just I feel like it wouldn't work um unless you're like in front of an audience yeah and, and have you ever have you thought recently about like any um I guess a different kind of camera angle comedy like like comedy short films or anything like that? Um, I mean, I, I did put one up while well, you were in one, actually. Uh, <laughs> that was my first video on the channel. Yeah. Um, and then I put another one up for my film class that I did. Um, and that was, that was more uh, like a short film, but still like, still kind of funny and sketch-like. Mm -hmm. um, but... I mean, right now I haven't really considered doing it. I think I'm just sticking more with the sketch, but um, you know, maybe down the line at some point, I'll, I'll I'm definitely interested in it, and I will uh, probably do it at some point. Cool, cool. Um, so last question: um, If you could introduce people to your YouTube channel with a sales pitch, what would that pitch be? Um. Well, all right, keep in mind before I do the pitch, I do have uh, low self-esteem issues. Having said that, everyone, listen, I know you might not want to, and I totally get it, all right? Like, don't, you know, it's not that great. But, you know, if you're, if you got nothing else going on, um, if you've already, you know, if you're bored, check out Aiden Kushner YouTube channel, check out the sketches. They're not that great, but you know, I think, um, you know, just give it a chance and you still might not like it, but I, I think there are some somewhat humorous things on there and um, you know, maybe, <clears throat> maybe you'll like it and maybe not. That's fine. That's, that's cool. You know, there's other stuff out. The Mr. Show is probably a better show. So you could watch that instead, but uh, you know, if not check it out, and that's my pitch. Wow. Uh, Actually, if, if you do want to check it out, though, I, I would say I do, I do believe in, in most of what I put up. I do think it is funny. And um, I would, I, if you're starting out, I would watch the Abuse Me commercial parody. I think that's a, probably my better, my best one. I, I, I would second that. I think that your content's pretty funny, pretty hilarious. Um, I think I think I have one last question actually. Um, so, a lot of your sketches, like you play different characters and stuff, and in a sense, you kind of do get into a little acting. Mm -hmm. um, did you know that, like, before? we went online and everything and like working on comedy stuff. Did you get into any acting, comedy acting kind of? Um, I mean, I've never, I, well, I took an improv class, but I've never taken like a hard acting class. Um, but you, I mean, you learn some stuff in improv and, you know, I mean, just from like comedy theory and stuff like that, the, the like, straighter you play it and the more like real you play it the funnier it is like so um just from that sense like you do definitely want to have um some kind of believable acting abilities um and i mean i i you know i don't again i haven't been trained or anything but i just um 
you know, I, I'm, I'm not uh, Daniel Day Lewis level, but, you know, I try to be at least, uh, you know, uh, at least believable, at least like, all right, he's into it. I'm not just like, there are some like sketch people who do kind of just read the lines and they're not as like into it. And I, I try my best to get into it. Um, I am a little bit cold emotionally, so it can be difficult. I try to write myself into like stuff that I can do. Like, yeah, it goes with the character though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I can't cry. I won't cry uh, on screen. So I just, I just don't write myself into that stuff. And then maybe I look like a better actor than I am because I only, only do what I, what I can do. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, just try to play it as real as you can. That's, that's what I try to do. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you. Um, it was very informational. Sure. And for everybody out there who's watching this, check out Aiden Kushner's, Aid, Aiden Kushner is the channel. I, you know, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't understand how to title it. I thought it was just a username and I, I don't know. I think it's Aiden Kushner. <laughs> It's it's simple. It's simple. Yeah. You search my name, it'll come up. Yeah, I'll I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, but yeah, check that out for some funny content and yeah, that's the end.